Hello, hello, welcome everyone back to my Excel VBA course. Today I'm going to take a different route. Uh, I'm going to take a pause on teaching you new things on coding and I'm going to go into something that's going to make your life a whole lot easier, which is debugging. And a lot of a lot of uh, courses out there will not teach you this and won't teach you how to debug. They'll just kind of go through the step-by-step the -step on how to write a macro and all that, but they won't teach you how to actually debug. So I'm going to go through the debugger. If it takes me one video, great. If it takes me two videos, I'll probably split this into two parts. So let's take a look at the macro. So first of all, what's debugging? Well, may sometimes maybe you want to trace through your code as it's running step-by-step -step because you may have a couple of things that you want to do uh, with your VBA script and right now we only have like what 10 lines here we may have more than 10 lines you may have you know, 50 lines 100 lines so it's useful to use the debug tool so if you're wondering what this debug menu is um, that's what it's for and I'm going to show you what all these do okay so let's pretty much let's start with what a what a breakpoint is I think that's a good that's a good starting point. So breakpoint means that it's when you run the program or when you run your macro, the breakpoint will trigger a stop at that particular point for you to actually analyze the code. So I'll give you an example. So let's say I want to put a breakpoint uh, at this point here. So all I do is I right click and you see a red dot. So that red dot means that when I click, when I actually run the program, the program is going to trace through step by step and make a stop right before it goes into my for loop. So let's let's do a, a sample right now. So if I click on this, see that? That yellow means that it's actually stopped. Now, at this point, what you want to do is you can do two, one of two things. One, you actually want to trace through it step by step. And for you to do that, you can you can use the F8 button on your on your keyboard, or you can do debug, and then you can do step into. So step into will step through your code uh, line by line. I usually use the F8. So if I do F8, it's going to move to the next line. At this point, now at the yellow, it's going to pause at that point. Because if you press one F8, it's going to go line by line. So if I do another F8, it's at this point right here. So what? What's? why is this useful? Well, because maybe sometimes I would like to look at my variables as the program is running. Because you may have something that's like a dangling variable that you don't know what value it's being set to. So what I could do is I can go to debug and I can do a watch. So what does a watch mean? It means you want to watch a particular variable. So if I click on add watch, what you want to do is you want to watch, it's going to tell you for an expression, so what I want to watch the variable C. You should leave this alone but well, I'll tell you what this means. The procedure means the function that you're currently in. So this particular function is where I want to watch. And the module is the module that I'm currently in. So usually it's going to be the module that you're currently in always. So if I click on OK, you see that the value is 1. So at this point, when I've stepped into my code, the value of C is 1. So if I go here, here, you look, you're going to have to look at the watch on the, on the lower right. Watch this. See that? At the point that it went through the next iteration of the loop, C turned into the value 2 because it incremented. Right? Now if I, I can also watch another variable, I can watch num value. So if I, if I right click and I do add watch, and I'm going to type in num value and click OK. So right now the value of num value is 60. Now it's once I trace into this step over this actual step, it's going to change. So if I click on that, now it's 32. Why? Because again, we're going through this 
uh, cell by cell. So we're now we're at the value 32, and this actually turned. Now you can't watch a particular cell, but you could watch any variable that you declare. So if I want to watch a C, I want to watch num value, and I can watch I. Click I, type in I, click OK. Uh, we we are at I. That's actually a bad name for a variable. It should be R because it's row. And as we go through, I'm actually gonna now I'm gonna start getting more advanced here. Now, let's say I don't want to go through the four times that it's gonna go through this loop. So what I could do is I could put another breakpoint here, and I'm gonna press play. So you see these buttons here. If you don't if you don't have these buttons up here, uh, go into my initial video. Uh, I teach you how to have this menu pop up here because it's very important. So if I click on continue, what's going to happen, it's going to go through the whole loop and then pause at my breakpoint. So if I click on continue, see that? And you could still see what the values are. So C is ended up being 5 and num value ended up to being 28, right? So that means that uh, it went up all the way, uh, I guess because of the random. Uh, values it went up to 28 so now if I if I press play again it's gonna go back to my breakpoint up here right and sorry it's gonna go it's gonna go through one whole iteration again and now I is 2 I is 3 right I is 4 right so it's going to keep going. Now, if I take this breakpoint out, then it's going to keep going and finish off the program. So if I click on play, then it's done. Okay, so if I go back, and let me just do this again. I'm going to delete all these. So let's do this again. So again, the reason why these are changing is because they're, it's a random value. Let's actually, let's, let's get rid of these random values. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do the following. I'm going to copy this. Uh, I'm going to paste it. Oops. Did I do that right? Uh, nope. I'm going to copy. Okay. So I'm going to paste values instead of uh, just paste. I'm going to paste the values. Here we go. And Let's see, let's see which one it was. Okay, so these, I'm going to copy that, and then I'm going to paste, but as values, and that should not that should be fine now. So now, if I click on copy first cell, again, breakpoint, it's going to stop right there, and if I play this, it's going to go through this whole in, inner loop, and if you don't know how inner loops work, again, I have videos on that uh, on my previous previous videos on this because I assume that you already know this because you've looked at my videos and you press press play all right so we're at one so now it took the values see 60 32 24 22 60 32 24 22 and again we can see what's happening at each iteration so if we go again we go here copy the next row and so on so with this breakpoint, it's very powerful because you can stop things at a certain point and you don't have to do it manually one by one. So if I want to just let it finish off, I would take this breakpoint out. I, you can left click, left click, do that. And now it's gone. So if I want, let's say I had a lot of breakpoints here, right? And if I just want to remove all of them, I just click uh, clear all breakpoints. It's going to clear all of my breakpoints so there won't be any breakpoints to do anything here. So, and then if, if, if I want to do the equivalent of putting a breakpoint in any of these lines, I can just say debug toggle breakpoint. And that's just going to put a breakpoint in there. So that, again, it's, it's, um, it's very, very useful when you debug your code. Uh, I think once you know how to debug, it's going to be easy for you to kind of see where your errors are. Okay. Now these are these are gonna be helpful in logic errors, not in compiler errors. The compiler has compiler errors 
it has it uh, internally so if you type something in it'll tell you right on the spot but if you have a, a macro that you're trying to debug and you're trying to see where the problem is for the for the value or you're not getting the expected value that you, that you think you should be getting then debugging is key because then you can trace through your macro all right so that concludes this i think i covered it all in 10 minutes if you think i missed something please comment I can I would gladly create another video addressing your problem or I'll edit this one depends uh, subscribe never any ads remember look me up on uh, my website parttimemagic.gmail.com parttimemagic.com uh, thanks